coming to the first use of label in loops. See here, in order to mention the label outer loop, this is a label and colon will be used. In order to mention it, the syntax for label will be like this. So we have mentioned a label in the program, a main of inside the program, we have mentioned a label. Now we are having for i is equal to 0, i less than or equal to 3, i plus plus. Inside this loop, we are having j is equal to 0, j less than or equal to 3, j plus plus. Inside this loop, we are having print statement and a conditional statement. See, understand properly. This print statement and conditional statements are inside the inner loop. So, if you want to skip the loop, outer loop, we have to mention continuous statement in the outer loop. But from the inside of the inner loop, we can skip the outer loop. That is what one of the use of label. See how it's executing. For j is equal to 0, j less than or equal to 3, j plus plus. It is going to display ij. Whenever if j is equal to 1, continue outer loop means the execution jumps to the label. Continue outer loop. So what's the output you are going to get in this program? For i is equal to 0, j is equal to 0, j is equal to 1 will be displayed. Whenever j is equal to 1, execution moving to the outer loop here means it is going to skip the remaining. So i is equal to 1 will be executed. For i is equal to 1, j is equal to 0, j is equal to 1 again means 1, 0, 1, 1 will be displayed. So whenever j is equal to 1 again move to the outer loop. So the outer loop is moving to the i is equal to 2, 2 is equal to 2, 0, 2, 1 again 3, 0, 3, 1. This is how we are going to skip the outer loop using the label statement. So anyhow, in place of this continue statement, we can use break statement also. In order to use the label, we can go with continue or break statement. This is one of the advantage we are having uh, using label in Dart programming.